the giant teapot fountain is the best landmark of Temple City, California. There it sits at the intersection of two commercial corridors anchoring this Los Angeles suburb makes it easy for first-time visitors to spot. And the visitors do come, eager to taste the concoctions of a Beijing chef creating intrigue in a highly competitive market. The Bistro Nars is L.A. County's very own Chinese restaurant with a Michelin star. Its executive chef, Tian Yong, is no stranger to feeding a crowd after making a name for himself at the Beijing 2008 Summer Olympics. I was the executive chef of Chinese cuisine at the reception center. The facility mainly received sponsors of the Olympic Games. It had a capacity for 5,000 people to dine at the same time. Chefs came from restaurants the world over. As we know, of course, Beijing is hosting the Winter Olympics. Could you give us some insight into what perhaps the chefs there will face and the kind of challenges that they might face cooking to such a broad audience, thousands of athletes, sponsors, delegates? Uh, I'd say food safety and food nutrition for athletes and coaches because it'll be quite energy consuming for them to participate in those competitions. And then, of course, there's the matter of sheer bulk. Designing the menu for the 2008 games was a complicated process. Service time was from 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. with no breaks. Each of the three main meals contained more than 130 dishes to choose from. Tea and midnight snack had 70 to 80 dishes. If you do the math times the duration of the games, you can imagine how much food I'm talking about. These days, Chef Tian Yong has lasered his focus down to Chinese imperial cuisine, serving up dishes once enjoyed by the emperors and empresses, whilst adding a modern twist. Among the headliners, lightly seasoned steamed okra, crunchy golden shrimp, the regal emperor's jar soup, and an octoplet of popular Beijing snacks curated into Nas assorted eat. What one dish from Bistro Nars do you think the athletes at the Olympic Games would love? Uh, I would recommend fried beef. Beef contains low fat and high protein. That's especially the case for Angus beef here in America. It's the best food ingredient for athletes. Not one to rest on his laurels, Chef Tian Yong is aiming for the stars perhaps a second or third Michelin, all the while guided by a simple principle. I want to focus on differentiation. There are a lot more dishes and cuisines in China that haven't been introduced to the world. Gerald Tan, CGTN, Temple City, California.